You know what? Screw the aspect ratio bullshit. I'm gonna do this in widescreen. Why? Because... I just want to. Okay, a couple of reasons. For one, I've got this now hooked up to S-Video, so the quality is going to be a little bit sharper. And two, because it's the only way I can really upload HD, and I want to start uploading my videos at least to 720p. Because, well, I want my videos to look nice! <laughs> yes, it's gonna take a little bit longer to upload, but I'm only gonna upload, like, two hours of footage at a time, really, and that's just like, okay, I record, okay, save it out, sleeping overnight, wake up the next morning, hey, it's on YouTube, now I can do some more. So, it'll work out. Ah, Coke with lime in it. It's good stuff. All right. I don't even remember where the heck I was when I last saved. Uh, I'm pretty sure it was before the next big dungeon. So let's go to the loot game. And checking memory card, there we go. Okay, the Jihon Residence, the four, I have no idea where we are. All I know is I'm level four. So let's select this one, yes, and off we go. Oh man, that's good stuff. Oh, I haven't had that in, oh, I don't know how long. <sighs> okay. Let's see, so I don't know if you guys can tell, but the quality should be better. At least it's better for me, the quality is a lot sharper. Uh, I actually double checked and I plugged in the yellow cable. Things blurred up really quickly, so this is nice and sharp. It goes a lot faster when there are two people washing the dishes! Thanks for that, Nautico. Oh, wait. <laughs> I'm not doing tank controls. <laughs> I'm doing RPG controls. I can use the analog stick now. I uh, just got off of playing uh, Silent Hill, and I was so used to tank controls. <laughs> like, okay, I gotta turn around, so let me just press right, and I'll pivot a little bit. Well, let's see. What well, we got in the fridge? Nothing catches your eye. We'll put that away, and um, it's evening. I have no idea what else to do, so I guess I'm gonna go on ahead to sleep. Ah! It's raining. Something might appear on the television. Return to your room and watch TV. Let's watch some TV! Maybe some pornography's on! It's raining tonight. Will something appear on the TV? related news, meteorologists are predicting heavy fog throughout the year. The region has seen an abnormal amount of fog over the past few years, and the cause of the climate change is unknown. Whatever the reason, residents of the Inaba area should be extra careful. Our broadcast tonight was extended to bring you up-to-date news on the incident in Inaba. The time is now midnight. Yeah, screw you. I don't want to watch your show. I want to see somebody interesting. There we go. The image is there again. It seems that if the conditions are met, you can see it as many times as you want. Oh boy! A silhouette appeared. It seems to be a woman. It looks like she's wearing a kimono. Hmm. The image is so out of focus that you can't tell who it is. Apparently, you don't know anyone who fits that description. After all, I mean, we did see Yukiko in a kimono before, and she appeared on TV, and she was wearing a kimono. Now there's somebody with black hair in a kimono on the TV, and we can't tell what it is. Brilliant. For smart people. What would happen if you touched the image on the Midnight Channel? Would you be able to touch the person on screen? image disappeared. You should speak to Yosuke and Chie about this tomorrow. Dot 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 dot. You decide to go to bed for the night. Yeah, no need to call and warn uh, Yukiko. Let's just uh, 
Let's just sleep. <laughs> this is... Welcome. Oh my god, it's Big Nose! Do not be alarmed. You are fast asleep in the real world. What are you doing to me? I have summoned you within your dreams. What are you doing to me with your nose? It seems you've been summoned to the Velvet Room. And so we meet again. That thing can be used in very devious ways. This is a space that only those who have, in one way or another, entered into a contract may enter. Okay. In your daily life, you subconsciously heard the call to awaken, and you chose to follow the destiny of your inner voice. I thought that was my conscience, but okay. Thereby, enacting your glorious awakening to your power. Hold on to this. I got a velvet key! Yeah! From this night forth, you are our guest in this velvet room. Isn't that what you already established like three times already? Your destiny will require you to hone your power. And for that, you will inevitably require our help. There is but one prize for this assistance. Oh great, you want one soul, don't you? You must abide by your contract and assume responsibility for all decisions you may make. No, you know what? I'm just going to blame you for everything I do. Yes, you're you're at fault for everything I do from here on. I don't get it. <laughs> that is fine for now. The persona you have acquired? Yes. It is a side of you that shows itself when you face the world around you. Perhaps you can think of it as a facade of determination you wear to face various difficulties in life. Your persona ability, however, is that of the wild card. Compared to that of others, it is very special. It is like the number zero. Empty, yet holding infinite potential within itself. So, you're basically telling me that I have infinite potential, but in the end, I'm still an empty vessel. Thanks, Igor! That's amazing! You're basically saying I'm a robot! Empty? Really? The Persona ability is the power to control one's own heart. And the heart is strengthened through bonds. As you form bonds by becoming involved with others, your own social links will gradually develop. The power of these social links is what will determine your persona's abilities. Oh boy. I still don't get it. Social links are necessary for more than strengthening your persona. At times, they will help light the way to the truth you're searching for. Where will your awakened power of the wild card take you? I look forward to traveling the road of your destiny together. <laughs> oh god, that's... That's a rape face, man! That's a rape face! Till we meet again. Leave me alone, old man. You're creeping me out. I don't know what you're planning to do. Why do you keep bringing me here when I'm just trying to get a night's sleep? <laughs> Yo! Oh, thank God he didn't crash into me! You saw what was on last night, right? Yeah, it was Yukiko. I couldn't tell who it was, but if someone's shown up on TV, we can't ignore it. It was Yukiko. Let's go check it out after school. Maybe Teddy can tell us something. It was Yukiko. If it turns out someone was thrown in again, there really might be a culprit behind all this. It was Yukiko, you dumbass Yosuke! Even if it is something about that place that's killing the victims. If someone's using that world as a weapon, that's unforgivable. We need to find the culprit, no matter what it takes. That sounds fine, but shouldn't we call up Yukiko and, you know, warn her? Maybe tell her, hey, stay over at Chie's place. In the basement. Locked up. 
Without a TV? There's no way the police can do it. Who'd believe that the murderer kills people by throwing them into the TV? We could try. I mean, you know what? This always bothered me. If I could just put my hand into the TV, I could just be like, okay, derp, here it goes. There, police, you see that? Yeah, here's your proof. It has to be us. I want to keep my world too. Let's bring an end to this. You do it. <laughs> You'd rather not. But there's no way you can refuse in a situation like this. Dude, I have to say, I was really hoping for your help on this. I mean, I don't know if I could do it by myself. Oh, I'm sure you'll be fine. I mean, you almost did get killed by your other half, but hey! You know, I tried sticking my head in the TV last night the way you did, and it actually worked. Eh? I think I can do that now because I have the same power. Great, let's go to the police and show them this power so then they can actually believe us that somebody's being thrown into the TV and dying when the fog comes in. Persona, wasn't it? Yes, but, you know, we go to the police. Could be that we got this gift from someone specifically so we could solve the case. We could go to the police! Then again, you managed to go inside the TV and get your Persona first. Don't be jealous. I feel like... As long as you're with me, I can find the culprit and crack this case. We can go to the goddamn police! We can show them! We can show them! We'll just grab Dojima, throw him into the TV with us, he'll see, and we'll let the police handle it. Well, let's do our best. No. Uh, fine, I guess we'll solve this mystery together! You sense a faint stirring of friendship between you and Yosuke. Of course, this is the moment where every girl playing this game immediately looked at this handshake and slight stirring of friendship and think, Oh my god, they're lovers forever. Thou art I, and I am thou. Thou hast established a new bond. It brings thee closer to the truth. Thou shalt be blessed when creating personas of the Magician Arcana. As you form a bond with Yosuke, you feel the power in your heart strengthening. You recall Igor's words. The Persona ability is the power to control one's own heart. And the heart is strengthened through bonds. As you form bonds by becoming involved with others, your own social links will gradually develop. Ah! The power of these social links is what will determine your persona's abilities. Social links. Is this bond with Yosuke what Igor is talking about? Dot dot dot. You have established the Yosuke Hanamura social link of the Magician Arcana. Yosuke's determin in bleh, determination in battle has been enhanced. Yosuke can now DIE FOR YOU! When you receive a blow that would otherwise kill you, your ally will take the hit for you during battle. So, uh, we're gonna call Yukiko, right? Warn her? No, we're not. We're gonna sit here rambling about stupid? Okay. Achie! Um, about yesterday? I'm sorry we worried you. Oh, never mind that. Is Yukiko still not here? Huh? Y yukiko san? Uh, no. At least I haven't seen her today. Oh man, what should I do? Hey, is that stuff you were talking about for real? You know, all that about how people showing up on the Midnight Channel is related to that other world. Oh, we were just talking about that. We're thinking of checking it out later. The person on TV yesterday, I... I think it was Yukiko. I told you, but no. Nobody listens to Kagato. That kimono looks like the one she wears at the inn, and she wore it during the interview a few days ago, too. I got worried, so I emailed her last night, but she hasn't responded. I called her earlier in the evening, though, and she said she'd be at school today. I... Calm down. We get the picture. And you still haven't heard from her? <sighs> no. 
You summed up the information you gained in that other world for Chie. What's that supposed to mean? Wait, are you saying Yukiko was thrown in there? By force. It must have hurt, because remember when we fell in? Yeah, it was a pretty big fall, so she might have broken her neck, maybe got something twisted. Who knows? She might have been eaten already. We don't know yet for sure. We should check to see if she's safe first. Give her another call. Good. Her voicemail picked up. She's not answering. Are you serious? Then is Yukiko-san inside that place? Hey, here's an idea. Let's go over there. Just stop, stop it. Something must have come up, like an errand or something. Yeah, let's go over there and check. Oh, or, or she might be helping at the inn. I mean, she wouldn't be able to answer her cell if that's it. Yeah, but would she skip school for that? Well, I'll give the inn a call. Um, got the number here somewhere. I'm surprised she didn't try that before. Come on, Yukiko, pick up. Oh, is this Yukiko? Thank God she's there. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I see. Oh, no, it was nothing. I'll email you again later. She was over at the inn. Way to go for waiting that long to call the inn that she works at in case she might be there. Chie, I love you, but that was kind of dumb. She said they had a big group reservation and she had to help out. Yeah, now that I think about it, this has happened before, too. At least once a year. She said she'll be at the end tomorrow, too. Oh, for crying out loud, Yosuke! You got me worried over nothing! <laughs> uh, okay, fine. You know what? Just hit him. She was totally fine! Just go on ahead. Hit him. He deserves it. And you were all... Is Yukiko-san inside that place? <sighs> Sorry. Oh, you're the one freaking out! But there is a reason we thought that. Oh yeah? What? Well, we thought people show up on the Midnight Channel because they're already over in that world. I mean, it makes sense, right? People show up on TV because they're inside the TV. But Yukiko-san's still here in our world. We might want to see what this is about. Alright, let's meet up at Juness after school. Beep. After school. You explained to Chie in detail again about what happened last night. Okay, I think that's more than enough about my sorry escapades. If I hadn't seen the place firsthand, I'd never have believed a story like that. Hey guys, wanna have a cool idea? How about this? Hey, bring everybody you can find over here. Let's show a magic trick. <laughs> Yeah, no kidding. Anyways, we need to know what's going on inside. Well, how? By talking to that teddy guy? Yeah. Too bad there's so many customers around. I forgot there's a sale in the electronics department today. Damn you, Yosuke! I got it. Come here a sec. Uh -huh. Try sticking your hand in and calling him over. I bet that bear's wandering around the entrance anyway. Um, okay. But wait, how would he see the hand? Didn't the first time we entered this place we fell like a hundred feet and almost cracked our heads open when we landed? You know what? Never mind. Logic. What is it? What is logic? Hey, Chia, stand over here. Make a wall with me. A wall? Hey, nice wall. People right behind me can see me. <laughs> What's wrong? Shh, not so loud, you idiot. 
He bit me. Dude, is that a bite mark? Are you okay? I think I'm gonna cry. Oh, come on, don't cry. Jeez, that stupid bear must have done it. <laughs> she A, will you kiss the boo boo? Hey, you, we know you're in there. Yes, it's called, Let Me Punch You in the Face for Biting My Hand. No, it's not a game. Can you sense anyone inside there right now? Who's anyone? I'm a lonely little bear, like always. This land feels so barren. <laughs> but I'm... Um, Shut it! So there's no one inside? You're sure? His nose is running as good as ever. <laughs> His nose is running. <laughs> okay, I'll be quiet. Uh, I'm gonna go warn Yukiko anyway. Since she'll be busy this weekend helping out at the inn, I doubt she'd go anywhere alone, but still. Yeah. You'll walk with her to school on Monday, right? Sure, I'll go pick her up at her house. Maybe we'll find out more on tonight's Midnight Channel. Cross your fingers that this is all just a misunderstanding. What's your cell number? I'll, I'll call you when I watch it tonight. You exchange cell numbers with Yosuke. Prepare for him to call to you about women troubles in the right. middle of the Don't night. Get to watch tonight. Was it really Yukiko who appeared last night? You need to watch the Midnight Channel again tonight. And by the way, you're a dumbass for not getting Chie's number. What kind of stupid pills are you on? Looks like we found all we're gonna find here. And we've still got nothing that points directly to a suspect. We don't even know if this is a homicide. But, yeah. Oh, okay. Good job, Dojima. Well, what else could it be? There's no way a body could end up like that by accident. I know. We haven't found the cause of death for the first Vic. Now we got a second one just like it. If this is a murder case, there's no doubt we're dealing with a single perp. But if that's true. What the hell's going on? Well, you see, well, I can't really explain it because I'm not there at the moment, so congratulations, Dojima. You're just gonna have to figure it out yourself for right now. You know, I thought at first this all spun out of that love triangle. No, that singer, Misuzu Hiragi, has a solid alibi. She was performing overseas, and her phone records prove it. And remember, the only reason the scandal went public was because Hiragi herself broke it to the media. No one would put themselves under suspicion that way if they had murder on their mind. You got a point there. Same with Taro Namatame, her husband. No matter how much we shake him down, nothing links him to the murders. He's been working in the city for the past six months. Seems he was here recently because of the scandal, but he was swamped with work back home at the time of the incident. There are eyewitnesses and other evidence placing him at his office the night that Mayumi Yamano died. And we can't find anything that shows Yamano making contact with Namatame before or after her disappearance. You hear Namatame's career has also been killed stone dead? He's been fired from his position as secretary. Ouch! He's practically as much of a victim as the Yamano girl. Yeah, I agree. Then we have the second case, regarding Saki Konishi. She's the one who discovered Yamano's corpse. I don't buy the killer shutting her up as a possible motive. She was killed well after she reported the body, and the culprit didn't hide her. It's like they were meant to be found. The only other connection is that she attended the same school as the daughter of the inn where Yamano was holed up. 
But that hardly points to a motive. And coincidences like that are common in a town as small as ours. Yeah, I heard about that angle on the news, too. What? Is the story about the inn out already? Ah, the media. Always first on the scene. Hey, I got it. How's this? Maybe there was something about the corpse that only Saki Konishi knew. And our perp killed her to keep whatever it was from leaking out. <sighs> Either way, all we can do now is keep investigating anyone involved with the victims. Our perp. It has to be someone in Inaba. Yes, it has to be. There's no way! No way in hell it could be an outsider! Oh, is your detective's intuition at work? Never mind. You know what? Forget going to the police. <laughs> They'd be stupid. Welcome home. Hi, Nanako. Hmm. This answer is hard! Nanako is absorbed in the quiz show. You should leave her alone. It's Jeopardy! Nothing catches your eye. Oh, well. Let's save while we're here. Wow, has it already been about a half hour of game time? Holy crap! That was a lot of talking that went on. Anyway, something might appear on the Midnight Channel, watch TV in your room, blah 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 blah, we know what's gonna happen. It's raining tonight. Will something appear on the TV? Maybe. Good evening. Tonight, Princess Yukiko has a big surprise. I'm gonna go score myself a hot stud. Welcome to Not a Dream, Not a Hoax. Princess Yukiko's hunt for her Prince Charming! And I came prepared! I've got my lacy unmentionables on, stacked from top to bottom! I'm out to catch a whole harem, and the best of the lot is gonna be all mine! Well, here I go! Uh. Okay! That was definitely Yukiko on the Midnight Channel just now. Pee 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 Pikachu! Uh, um, eyes, boobs, big boobs. That was Yukiko-san for sure. It looked like her. I mean, she even said her name. But didn't the stuff she was saying sound weird? Not really. I mean, I don't know her that well. Ah, uh, low budget TV. Well, that's pretty much the quality of all TV these days. What's going on? Calm down, try to contact Yukiko, try to contact Chie. You're right. Let's get her to contact Yukiko san. No, we tomorrow's Sunday. So let's meet up at Juness first thing in the morning. It's not what I meant. Call Chie so she can tell us her Never mind. You promised to meet up with Yosuke tomorrow. You decide to go to bed early tonight instead of, you know, rushing out to save the damsel in distress, but, you know, <laughs> gotta be really stupid. I make fun of this game, but I love this game. <laughs> oh, good morning. Hi. Uh, where's your dad? It seems that only Nanako is here. Where's your father? You're up early today. Where's your father? He left already. He said he's gonna be late. Oh. Well, uh, okay, bye. If you leave, Nanako will be left all alone to look after the house. Okay, what's the problem? On the other hand, you have an important business with Yosuke today. Okay, what's the problem? Are you going somewhere? Yes. 
I'll be fine by myself. Ah, uh, TV. So the weather this weekend will be perfect for going out. As for next week's forecast... Oh, the sun's gonna come out. I should do some laundry. Uh, weren't you going somewhere? Uh, sorry. Too busy staring at the weather lady. Wait, what? What? You decide to go out. In a hurry. <laughs>